Our next example in this section, example three, uh, we're going to modeling the spread of flu. So the function right there, f of t is equal to 30,000 over 1 plus 20e to the 1 negative 1 decimal 5t power. Describes the number of people f of t who have become ill with influenza t weeks after its initial outbreak in a town of 30,000 inhabitants. How many people became ill with the flu uh, when the epidemic first began? So they're basically looking for the original mount, and we can find the original mount pretty easily because when the, fur fl when the flu first started, what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in zero for our time. So what we'll get is we'll get 30,000 divided by 1 plus 20, and then e to the negative 1 decimal 5 times 0 power. Okay, uh, this is going to be obviously 0. e to the 0 power is 1. So uh, 20 times 1 is 20, so this is really going to be 30,000 divided by 21. So we can use our calculator to try to figure this out. So what we'll get is we'll get 30,000 divided by 21. So apparently we get about 1,429 people when rounded to the nearest person. So that's people, how many people uh, initially had the flu in our nice little uh, town here that we're talking about. The next part in B asks, asks us um, how many people uh, were ill by the end of the fourth week. So this time when we're trying to figure this out, we're just going to plug in four. So we're going to bring back up our calculator, and what we'll do is we'll say um, e to the negative one decimal four or one decimal five times four power. Multiply that by twenty, and then add one. And then we're going to take thirty thousand and divide it by the answer. So, wow, it's a lot of people. So we get uh, 28,583. 28,583. Now, uh, what we're doing next is we need to basically figure out uh, our last part which is this, which is to figure out uh, what was the limiting size of the population that will become ill. Well, uh, looking at our problem, what you should see in this uh, example is basically, um, you know, just this is basically just asking us to think about the problem a little bit. The limiting size for our group is actually going to be the 30,000 inhabitants because obviously uh, that's going to be our limiting size because if you only have 30,000 people in a city, then you're not going to have more than 30,000 people who actually get the flu. So you're going to be limited by the population of the city. And as you can see in your problem, that turns out to be the numerator. And you'll see that in, uh, in many of your logistic growth problems, where the numerator is going to represent your limiting amount.